Vianney and Brian are helping to make another garden bed. We have lots of seedlings and we are running out of space. This is a vertical garden and it's going to help us a lot. This is a very large space. It doesn't look like it's very big, but it is. We already have a similar garden, just like the ones they have made, and it's thriving. Everything here is doing very well. They say when everything is well, do not change, but we are making some changes. So this area is near the house, and I would love to plant things that I easily I always use in the kitchen, very close. For example, the herbs and lettuce, things like that. I want them very close to the house. I have some plants that are, it's my first time planting them and they're very young. So I want to transplant them in this area so I can easily monitor them. This area here, is going to be a sack garden. So I got some sacks from a friend. She has a shop and she gave me for she gave me at a very good price. I also got some bonuses. So I'm I'm so excited to use them. Container and sack gardens are fun. If you're bored of the way things look, you can easily switch things up as it is very easy to move them around. It is also very easy to water because you can see you, you can see when you have watered that it is enough water compared to when they're on the ground. Containers and sacks are very cheap. You can easily get them even for free. So that is a bonus. When we use containers or sacks, we save some money. Money that would have gone towards buying brand new containers is saved for something else. Reusing containers and sacks helps to protect the ecosystem and wildlife. By using them, we are not having them thrown in the landfills. Some are disposed of in water bodies or just thrown by the roadside. This is very harmful to our ecosystem and also a danger to wildlife as the sacks may be tied around an animal or suffocated by the plastic. When we reuse our plastics and the sacks, we keep our environment clean so they are not just thrown away everywhere. When you move around, you're most likely to see plastic thrown somewhere or these polythene bags thrown somewhere. So by reusing them, you keep the environment clean. I hope you start reusing what you have if you have not been doing that. Our cabbage is doing so well, as you guys can see. I'm just adding some wood chips in the containers to help retain moisture when, when we water them. Otherwise, everything is okay, even without the wood chips. Uh, we'll 
the sack garden is already looking lovely. I can't wait to see it in a few weeks. Viani is watering the soil so that it is well moist before I start transplanting. So I have lettuce that I'm going to plant in this sun. Maybe four of them and the rest I'll plant cauliflower. This lettuce is not so, so big but I'm going to plant them anyway. I'm going to mix the colors, you can see in this one. I am taking the cabbage to the container garden. That's the new garden. So now we have two two gardens. We have a sack garden and a container garden. I could mix them up but I just want to have them separate. This is the new bed that we've made. So I'm going to put the cabbage on that level. And here it's going to be the spinach. When transplanted, we're going to put all their spinach and we still have that space. Maybe I'll bring the Swiss chard here for now.
So this is the new home for our cabbage. We are going to fill there too. But for now, this is how it looks like. I hope today's video inspired you to start a container or sack garden. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.